Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lainey, or if you just haven't been here in a while because it's been so long since I've posted a video, but I just got something in the mail that calls for a good unboxing video. So as you can see in the title of this video, you know exactly what I'm about to unbox. I've been waiting to get a helmet from this company for years now. As soon as I saw Rex and Around, who is an amazing Rex cosplayer on social media, I saw them post about it and recommend their helmets. And I was like, I have to have one of those. But it's been years since I've actually gone ahead and gotten one, but I didn't get it for myself. My fiance Parker got it for me as my birthday present. My birthday was in April and they had a May the 4th release and we got it on that day and it just came in the mail this Wednesday so I'm really excited to open it up so let's get started hopefully I don't hurt myself I'm not even gonna try to say this company's name because I will absolutely butcher it you can see the name of the company right here on the side of the box they have a really cool logo and everything these scissors are not working with me okay we're getting somewhere I think we got it I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Hang on. Uh, maybe I should have gotten a knife. <laughs> I'm not very good at um, unboxing things. It's packaged very safely. That's great. I really appreciate that they put a lot into packing these because it does come all the way from Russia. This company is based in Russia. It has to travel a long way. <laughs> oh my gosh. so cool. If you guys know me, you know that Rex is my favorite clone, but it fluctuates between Rex and Fives like all the time. Depends on where I'm at in my life, honestly, but I love Fives so much. So much. I don't want to hurt the helmet at all, so I'm going to try to use the scissors a little bit more. Oh my gosh. Maybe I'll just hurt myself. Okay. Ow! It's still pulling my hair. This is so cool. Oh yeah, it's his uh, rangefinder. It's right here. I'll pack this up. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, you guys, look at it. Oh my goodness. I can't believe this is his helmet. Oh my gosh. I, what I really like about this, honestly, is that every single one of these helmets is ha handmade. If you follow them on Instagram, you can see them like in the process of painting them and weathering them and everything. And that just like puts way more authenticity into it, if that makes sense. It looks way more real when it's hand painted. You know how we get helmets from like Hasbro and um, like the Black Series helmets and they just, they don't look real, even though they have like weathered print on them. But this looks so authentic and so real. I, I love this so much. Oh my gosh. I hope that I can take a video so that you can can see close up with this thing but here's a look of inside it has some padding in there all of these helmets are one size so they do fit everybody but let's see if it fits me <laughs> it's hanging a little bit low but I can see and that's really cool it's really loud when I talk oh my gosh does it look cool <laughs> throwback to my Bo-Katan unboxing when I put the helmet on hang on I want to put his rangefinder on huh I did it! I had to just get this out of the wrapping that they had it in and there was a little screw and you just had to like stick it through and then just twist it from the other side. Let's put this back on. And then... <laughs> That's so cool! Oh my gosh. Oh! Oh! Hang on. I don't know if that's supposed to happen. Well, I guess it is supposed to happen. It can go both ways, but I don't really like that. It can go both ways. I think it just needs to be tightened on the inside, which obviously I can only tighten it so much with my hand. You guys, I have a fives helmet. A fives. <laughs> oh my gosh. The weathering and the detail is so cool. I love how much they put into it. You can tell because they put a lot of videos on their Instagram stories and everything about how much detail and how much work they do put into these to make them look more authentic and as real and as movie accurate as possible and as series accurate as possible because this is the clone wars version the phase two clone wars version of fives helmet i think they have three different versions of it there's arc fives there's arc trooper fives i don't really know what the difference was i think that there was a bit of a difference in the visor and the way that it was shaped and there is a revenge of the sith version of this helmet which is super super weathered and it's more movie accurate and this one is more accurate based on the clone wars series so they have a bunch of different options this video is not sponsored at all whatsoever i'm just a huge fan of their work and i cannot be more happy <laughs> with this helmet it looks amazing. It feels amazing. It's going to display beautifully. I'm probably just going to keep it next to me and hold on to it and wear it forever because I don't want it to be just a display piece. I want to use it as much as possible.
flexible, but yeah. And if you're a cosplayer, I feel like these helmets could be really useful for you and then you wouldn't, I mean, a lot of cosplayers like building their own outfits and their own helmets and everything and that's great. But if you have the money and you would rather not build a helmet yourself, then you can absolutely use this as an alternative because this looks amazing. So, so accurate. I mean, it looks just like it. It looks like it's straight out of the series. Yeah, they have a bunch of different options. I'm going to link them down below. I'll link you to their Instagram and to their website, but they open up in waves. So they, I think they have a wave every single month. So they build up stock and then they have a certain day where they open up their shop. And then once everything goes, everything goes. It's first come first serve. And then if you don't get it during that wave and everything sells out, then you just have to wait until the next wave. So that's what I had to do. I got the May the 4th wave, thank goodness. I highly recommend this company, guys. Look how amazing this freaking helmet is. It looks so good. I'll just wear it forever, I guess. This is not sponsored. I don't want you guys to think I'm just saying all this so that I benefit from it because this company does not know who I am. I'm just a huge fan of theirs. I do not get any commission. I'm not affiliated with them at all whatsoever. I just want you guys to know that this is a great, great company to get helmets from because I'm going to be buying more in the future, probably. If you like this video, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications because I want to be more frequent with my content as I've fallen off a little bit. But you guys, this is amazing. So I will be seeing you guys soon because my next video, I will be ranking my top five Jedi Jedi Funko Pops that I have because I was challenged by Tony, Star Wars Sith, who is my friend that I do live streams with. A lot of the time, you guys know him. I think you've seen him a lot. I will see you guys next time. Bye!